Day 17 in the apartment I'm renovating in a convent that's being renovated by my best friend here in rural France. And today is a special day. Things get a little bit more serious, dare I say, because we've got the jackhammer out and I am gonna be removing the bottom part of the fireplace so that it's gonna be flush with the wall, ready for us to install a new wall. And also there's another job that needs doing in this apartment with the jackhammer, and we'll get to that once we complete this task first. So let's crack on. We've made another discovery. So here we are under the front of the fireplace. I've just removed all of these bricks, of course. And look at this. I can't believe it. These are old terracotta tiles, also known as tomet. And we already have these in the kitchen and also in the back room, but we don't have them in the living room. We also have them, I should say, under the floor of the bedroom, which we discovered as well recently. But unfortunately, well, we don't have them in the front room, but I'm looking at, I'm looking at the size of them and I'm kind of confused now because they seem to be, they seem to be odd sizes. Like the, you know, look, obviously this one's broken, but that's not a break there. That's actually the size of the tile. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing that these were just kind of off cuts of the um, previous floor which has been put in uh, under the bedroom floor, in the kitchen and in the back room. This is what was left. And they had these laying around and they just put these under the fireplace. Maybe just to prop it up a little bit. I don't know why, but they're, they're, they're concreted in as well. 
So, yeah, really strange. Very interesting to find these under the fireplace. They obviously put them there for a reason. I don't know, I don't know why. Just to support the bricks, I don't know. Bizarre. But yeah, yeah. there you go. We found some beautiful original terracotta tiles under the front of the fireplace. I just removed the uh, terracotta tiles and here's how much concrete was underneath and the bed of concrete wasn't very um, strong to be honest it it I mean this can basically yeah uh, I can just remove it with my hand obviously it has been loosened but another interesting fact is that they have used the terracotta tiles under the fireplace as well, they keep going back. So the terracotta tiles are a base uh, on top of concrete, of course. But very interesting, very interesting. There you go, that's how the uh, fireplace is made. So this is gonna be covered up now. Now that that's all flush with the wall, we're gonna just cover it with a new wall and some nice insulation. Happy days. So there we have it. The base of the fireplace that was sticking out has been removed. A wonderful discovery with those terracotta tiles. And I do want to reiterate one thing. I don't think this existing floor has terracotta tiles underneath because the terracotta tiles that we had just removed from underneath the fireplace uh, were sitting above the existing floor level, which means they don't continue underneath the floor. Makes sense. Yeah, nice discovery. Anyway, let's crack on with the next task at hand. Our next task is going to be remove this shower base, which I am currently squatting in. Um, it's concreted in, so we're gonna use the jackhammer to smash it out. Let's do it.
right, everyone. Let me show you the progress in the bathroom. Oh yeah, it's looking much, much better in here. Most of it has been destroyed. Um, but unfortunately today we are not gonna remove all of it. Uh, I did break through the other side of the wall and that's a story for another day because I don't even know what is on the other side of this wall. Um, it, it is an absolute mystery. I tried looking and I can't figure out where that is. So yeah, I wonder what is on the other side. But we're gonna leave it for today. That is the progress report in the bathroom. It's, it's stripped, it's completely stripped. Looking beautiful. And that's gonna mark the end of today's work. I'm so happy with the fireplace now flush to the wall and that little interesting discovery, uh, yeah, just made my day in a way. But with regards to the shower in the bathroom, that was much harder to remove than I expected. And um, yeah, I am really curious about what's on the other side of the wall, but I need to consult with Billy first. I did try looking to see where the other side is, but I couldn't even find it. So yeah, I guess we're gonna check that out tomorrow. And that is gonna mark the end of today's video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. You can subscribe if you wanna see more. I post a new video every weekday, usually renovating this apartment. And thanks again to Billy for your support, help, love, kindness, my good friend, best friend Billy in the whole wide world. And that's it. So I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye for now.